Hi, I'm Mary Beth Haggerty with Autodesk Games, and I'm here with David Hegelson, the CEO of Unity, to talk about 3D and casual game usage here at Casual Connect. So David, first of all, you have a huge number of casual users. How do you see casual users using your product to bring games to the market? That's a good question. So, um I mean, what Unity is, well, it's a game engine, it's a whole production tool set, uh, super polished, and it sort of maybe levels out a bit the difference between like, you know, hardcore production and, and casual production, because it sort of enables very, very simple, uh, like, I mean, very efficient production of casual games with, you know, great art assets, um, with, with complex animations, mm -hmm. but yet to, to, to be delivered like to the browser, to the mobile uh, devices. So I think it's sort of, yeah, we somehow sometimes feel we're sort of bridging the gap, you know, between hardcore game production and, and casual games. Yeah, one of the things that you've seen is enormous growth with people using Unity for iPhones, <laughs> you've been using, seeing people use Unity for casual games, you've been seeing people use Unity for all sorts of games out there. Can you talk a little bit about how people use Unity with Autodesk products? Sure. So, um, so actually Autodesk, I mean, we, we've somehow, you know, saw that Autodesk being the market leader, we yeah. would, we would want to support your applications really yeah. well. Um, and uh, so the first application we supported was, was Maya really well. Uh -huh. So basically we have this concept that instead of doing imports and export, import and export steps, mm -hmm. you just save your art file. Uh -huh. Initially Maya, later Max as well, and other applications, including some of your competitors, and and you, you throw those files into your project, and Unity realizes that you know they're, they're, there's a new file there or a changed file, and just imports it automatically. And a lot of magic goes on behind the scenes, and we're using a lot of fancy technology for this. But the result is that you just you know in Maya or Max, you just hit save, you switch to Unity, and and the the uh, the models or the animations just update on the fly, even when you're you know playing the game. So two years ago when I was at Casual Connect, just a few developers were really starting to think about 3D. But today, going through the, the conference here, everybody seems to be going to yep. 3D. Can Not everybody, talk, but a lot no, of people. Yeah. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about how you're seeing that at Unity? Sure. I mean, uh, 3D can be kind of complicated. Yes. Uh, and without a good production environment and tool set, it can be very complicated yes. and, and expensive. But actually we find that, I mean, the devices are catching up. I mean, mm -hmm. the iPhone, I mean, the, every single, like, a really a low-end computer on, uh, connected to the web mm -hmm. is still able to, you know, show some pretty decent 3D graphics. Um, so the hardware is catching up. But then a tool like Unity really sort of mm -hmm. facilitates, you know, taking in assets from the different applications, giving it live without having, you know, hardcore engineers on the team, right? Yes. So a scripter or somebody from with a flash background can actually pick it up and, and pretty effic effic efficiently, um, you know, create this content or make, make those games. And then, you know, actually a lot of the a lot of the you know flash games that are out there right now are, are really produced in 3D and then you sort of bake it down you know into textures and yes. and a lot of infrastructure has to be built but now the devices are catching up so it's getting effic efficient just to run the games in 3D um, and that ends up you know actually saving you money instead of costing extra fantastic Mary Beth Haggerty with Autodesk Games and David Hegelson CEO of Unity talking about 3D game development and casual great to talk to you David great talking to you